Well, as you know, here at Fox 17, we are committed to keeping a very close watch on exactly how the government spends your money. And tonight, some people say tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars are being wasted right here in Nashville. Well, all of that money is for a building that's been empty for more than seven years. Fox 17 Sky Arnold has our Waste Watch report. Well, the Ben West Library was built in 1966, but it's been empty since 2006, and you've been spending thousands just to keep it up. Well, we decided to find out why. Padlocked with a chain is a building that's eligible to be on the National Register of Historic Places. The Ben West Library served Nashville until 2001, when the new library opened a few blocks away. And this building became a temporary city hall. Where am I missing the boat? But then Ben West and its marble columns were simply abandoned in 2006. I could see many, many uh, businesses, professionals, uh, retail uses for that location. Council member Charlie Tigert has long seen this as a waste, especially once we told him how much it's costing. Taxpayers spend a little more than 15000 a year on utilities for the building. That's in addition to the 9000 for cleaning up outside and another 4800 to keep the windows clean. It adds up to $204,000 over the last seven years. If there's no reason to spend it and no productive reason for taxpayers to have that expense, why do we have it? As it turns out, the reason why this building has stayed empty goes back 100 years to when a family originally gave up the property. Under that deed, it says that if it's no longer being used as a library, it reverts back to the family. Metro Law Director Saul Solomon says in just the last few months that family's heirs have come forward to negotiate a deal to change the deed. So this building can either find a new use for the city or developers. I think nobody wants to see an empty building, but these things happen from time to time and we're going to take steps to remedy it. It's a sign the building may not stay padlocked much longer, but some still wonder why it took so long. Uh, absolutely, we, we should be out of there and, and uh, should have acted on this sooner. Now, I'm told the city likely doesn't have any need for the building currently, so the hope is once this deed issue is settled, a private developer might be willing to come forward and buy the property. Sky on it, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you, Sky. We should mention the building did find a temporary use for just a little while after the historic flood of 2010. Juvenile court used that facility to temporarily hold archives when the main court flooded.